How you doing folks? So replacing an old tachometer for a new tachometer for the RPM and the trim and tilt over here. It's the easiest thing ever. This one has the hour counter and also has a couple of little fixtures for temperature and oil. They're a little bit different, the old with the new. The old one has this old school clamp with two screws. You remove the back from the back and you just pull it forward. The new one it's a little bit different. It's a screw on. Um, I kind of like the old one better, but yeah, it is what it is. So I just got this one and it came with this instead of this type of bracket to hold it on. But I'm replacing it is really the easiest thing ever. Just pull the cables and just color mush them. It's the same thing. Everything is plug and play. This plug is loose on mine. Just this one. If it's a small engine, I think it's under 90 horsepower. You have to disconnect this guy over here. You just pull it. If it's over, mine's a 115. So if it's over, you leave it plugged in. So let me just get to it. One more thing, guys. Make sure you guys use a uh, dielectric grease I'm almost out but this stuff is pretty good so dielectric tune-up grease to make sure you guys use it in all the connectors inside so they don't corrode it just saves headaches in the future This one's not going to be used, but I'm going to add a little bit just in case. Prevent it from corrosion in the future, just in case. Alright, so in order for me to get this guy from underneath, I'm going to have to disconnect all the cables, run him through here at the bottom, and then pull him back out and connect the RPM gauge to it. On this guy, it's best if you pull the tap so that you don't break it. It latches right here. So there's a little tap. Best if you pull it, pull it back. So let me get underneath and run the cables through this. The thread goes to the bottom. The non-thread area goes to the right. top. After running that plate through, it's time to connect everything up and then screw it at the bottom. Little latch goes on the lip. Don't forget that, guys. It's simple, black with black, green with green, yellow with yellow, blue with blue. They snap in.
There it is. I'm gonna screw the one at the bottom and we're pretty much done. A simple job. I kinda like this one better, but it is what it is. Yeah, this system's better in my opinion. Don't throw away this yet to try it in the water. Make sure it doesn't have any issues just in case you gotta return it. Hold on to this. I say like about a good two or three times. You going out, I don't know how often everybody goes. But I usually try to go every weekend, so I'll probably hold on to it for about two or three weeks. Once I am 100% sure this guy's working, then I'm gonna go ahead and toss it out. This is on a 115 uh, horses, and it seems to be working fine. No problem. Let me give it a little bit of gas. Job well done. Came out pretty good. Y'all have a good day.